one of my attributes, you know, I'm focused, I'm driven and I train hard all the time, you know. You know, um, first of all, I just think it would be a great, um, be a great reward for my mum because of what she's dedicated to me, so I think that would be great. Um, but for myself, it would be a, a good way to help change not just my life, uh, but my mum's and my future kids' life, you know what I mean? So it's a life-changing um, experience. It's been a hard, like, long journey, but I've pushed through it and I am here where I am now. wouldn't have been if I didn't come back, so I'm really grateful. Well, I haven't boxed on home soil since, um, since 2016 when I won the British and the British final. So, um, yeah, it's mad. So I've actually got a lot of people buying tickets, coming to support, which is, which is great. It's, I think it's special to really have your, your home supporters and a home crowd and that sort of feel about it. And for once, we're not travelling to some women gobsticking out you know, place across the world. So um, that's been a benefit as well, I think. No, nah, obviously it's much better being twins than that. Like my mum and dad, my mum and dad are over the moon. Both of us coming here and uh, ch chances are we're both going to go to the Olympics, so my mum and dad are absolutely buzzing. Yeah, it's unreal. Uh, obviously boxing in London as well. Normally boxing in Russia, Kazakhstan, so it's going to be good to be able to come back to our home country and uh, have the home crowd on your side, throwing punches in the full crowd cheering. It's going to be good. For me, it's that quarter-final, winning that quarter-final and then, you know, booking, booking, the, booking myself on to, to, to the Olympics, it's, um, it's, it's unreal and it sounds a bit crazy, like, even saying it now, but it, it's a realistic goal and I believe I'm good enough to, to achieve that. Seeing what it's like, I've been there, been there, dealt with the pressure and uh, now I've, uh, I've done all the, like, Europeans and the Worlds, got all my experience. And yeah, I'm ready to uh, take home medal. It's a mad thought even thinking about, you know, six months ago I would never been in this position, but I, I applied myself and um, I, I stayed on it and I stayed ready and um, the opportunity's come now and I've, it's just it's up to me now to like, seize the moment. I'm an exciting fighter, explosive, um, direct and I come to win, do you know what I mean? Um, I, hit, I throw shots with bad intentions and you'll be excited, you know what I mean? You'll be off your seat all, all the way through all my fights. Yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing to be honest, like, like it's the closest I've ever been to achieving it and it's so achievable like I have to say but when you think about going to Olympics you think oh that's too good for you because that's the your dream to go and become Olympic champion but when I think about boxing and the people and what I've got to do I know it's I know I can do it I just got to get it right on the days and turn up and and then hopefully we'll be there yeah no I'll be, I'll be, I'll be buzzing to qualify I'll be buzzing to qualify but you need to get a seed the, be, the best thing of, of this competition is getting a seed in for the uh, for the Olympics because then you get an easier draw get a uh, better chance of getting the medal yeah, well, I remember qualifying for the last Olympics and it was just the best feeling. Best feeling. Obviously, I knew I was going to qualify, but when you actually do it, it's different. And uh, getting a medal at the Olympics would just change your life. Do you know what? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be mad. Like, even to qualify and then think you're, you're, you're going to be going to Tokyo, it's, it's, that's crazy. I still, I'm speechless. <laughs> it's madness. But yeah, that will mean so much to me and my family. That would be the end product, like having that gold medal around my neck. I just can't wait for it all to happen now.